With us once again on the set of Live It Up is Elise Drake. Welcome, Elise. How have you been? I'm doing awesome. Back in town. Great. Yeah. I know you went to Holland for the Wearable Art Awards, Berlin, and Prague. How did you get involved with that art show? Crazy. Um, LinkedIn, actually. I met someone. I was supposed to do it through my college. I went to Maryland Institute College of Art, MICA, and they did a call for entry. And then I wound up connecting with her on LinkedIn, and she's like, you should still be a part of it. Love your work. And then I was able to get in the Wearable Art Awards of Holland. And then I, I also made a trip to Berlin where I got to be in a commercial art gallery. And then I just got back from L.A. now because I was concerned moving out there. But I'm going to try and do the bi-coastal thing. Nice. Yeah. Now, when you were um, in the Wearable Art Awards, you crocheted a garment. Yeah. Right? And it was called A Man's World was the theme? Yeah. Okay. It's A Man's World was my theme. And it was a two-layer garment, uh, also about sustainability like a sustainability and what it means to be a man today. And it, mine was very goofy, lighthearted, edgy. Um, I had a really good audience um, response. Nice. Yeah. And how long have you been crocheting? How did you learn how to crochet? Uh, I did it once in seventh grade, and then I got back into it in college because I just love the process of labor of love and, like, the labor of the whole process. And you've worked with a lot of different people over the years that have inspired you. Olik, mm -hmm. is that one of your the people that yeah, you enjoy? Yeah, Olik. Olik, right. um, she's a great crochet artist. Uh, Lindsay Deegan does knitwear. She went to RISD. Um, she's a knitwear designer, and she's more with fashion. But she's also a huge inspiration to me. And then there's, like, Annie Lee Larson. She does great stuff, too. And your degree, you said, um, has a sustainability part of it. Yeah. How did you decide on that? So you're not just a fine artist. You have a degree in fine art but also with this concentration yes yeah, so uh, sustainability and social practice is my concentration with BFA and sculpture I, I really care about making work that has a, another layer of purpose like it's um, and and so sustainability is just like a huge thing I care about and so it doesn't have to be like art that's made of leaves but to talk about these things or talk about social um, constructs or like what's going on and just different or was your yarn mostly sustainable product? Yeah, actually, um, the two most sustainable ways of making anything is to use uh, is to either, for crochet, it's 100% organic cotton, but that's if you're like making a new material. Okay. But the best thing you could do for anything with fashion is to do DIY upcycling. And so what I do is I sometimes take yarn from thrift stores and I just reuse the yarn. Yeah, repurpose, recycle, mm -hmm. refresh. Yeah. Uh, you said you were just out in Los Angeles. You worked on a TV set out there, mm -hmm. right, in the art department, so that was fun. Uh, but now you decided you're going to go to Cooper Union. Yes. What are you going to be studying there? I'm going to do a certificate from Cooper Union for digital fabrication because this year, I, I'm doing it everything by years. This year, my main focuses are to do my crochet, fine artwork, do digital fabrication, 3D printing, CNC printing, um, all digital fabrication, and then I'm also doing portraits. And we have a couple of your portraits here. Yes. Wow. Okay, so um, I am your mom. Yes. We're just going to be honest about that. So I came home one Mother's Day, and on my bed was a portrait of me that you did. And I was like, wow. So I was really honored by that because um, you did a really good job, and it, and it was one of those heartfelt gifts. Mm -hmm. But then you started doing portraits for a lot of people now, and people are calling you from all over the country, and you're doing them. Mm -hmm. What do you love most about creating a portrait for somebody? I love the process of making a portrait. I love seeing, because the shifts through it all, it's like it gets really ugly and it doesn't look like a person. You don't have the essence like until two, two thirds three, through. Um, but then when I have it done, and so it's that end, the process of it all. And also I love giving it. I love giving these gifts to people. So sometimes people hire me to do it of them or sometimes for you as like a surprise. Um, and then also people give it as a gift for other people, so it's something I can mediate, something I can come in between to give a gift to someone else. Yeah, because they might not have that artistic talent, but yet through you, you're facilitating like a great gift, an heirloom kind of quality gift. One of the things that you did, I hope you don't mind that I'm gonna share it, is that um, your friend Cody had passed away, mm -hmm. and at his funeral, they had this beautiful portrait that you created for his family yeah. there on display. And um, people were just raving about the fact that it meant so much to them. It brought them so much comfort to be able to see that version of Cody. So that was really cool. Yeah, they brought this like essence of, of like his life, a happy, it was like a happy, huge image that like definitely gave a tone to the, to the funerals. And also corporations. 
I know that the, your work is hanging in a few boardrooms now, so that's really cool. Yeah. So people that have started chambers of commerce or people that have started companies. So it's it's fun. It's fun to, for you to document this, right? Yeah, I love doing it. I love making these portraits for people. And as you said, it's a gift for anyone. Like I also did one for someone's mother that passed away. And I, I do them from pictures, usually like a few pictures. And so no one needs to like sit for hours. I can just do it. That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Be sitting there for 26 hours, but um, well, I thank you for joining us, and I know that you um, are very gifted and very talented. And I just wanted to take a moment to showcase you because um, you're very humble and very kind-hearted person, a typical artist. And uh, I just wanted to celebrate you and celebrate your work. So thank you very much for being here, thank Elise you. Drake. Thank you, Donna Drake. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Okay, <laughs> stay tuned for more on Live It Up. If you're in the market for wonderful art, whether it's going to be a mural or something crocheted or definitely a portrait, please consider Elise Drake. She's my favorite artist. She's probably going to be your favorite artist too. Thanks for watching.